High school football is just around the corner and there's gonna be some excitement in all the stadiums, especially those here in the Rio Grande Valley. And they're gonna be busy. One stadium that's been plenty busy throughout the summer has been Bogus Stadium in Harlingen with a lot of changes and a lot of improvement. We've done a lot of renovations to Bogus Stadium. Uh, 10, 12 years ago in a previous bomb program, we did renovations to our home site. Uh, we fixed up the stadium, uh, new lights, new parking lot, new fencing and so forth. We gave it a very nice look. Uh, and this time around with the 2010 bomb program, we decided to finish it off and do the east side, which is the visitor side. Also part of the changes to the stadium is something that the fans will notice immediately. And that is that the field is now changed from natural grass to the state of the art synthetic turf. On this, the school had many reasons for the switch. The, the fields do take a beating uh, by mid-season. We have to do a lot of maintenance and work to maintain the crown in the field and so forth. So uh, we have to do that every year. In addition to those changes, there have been additional seats added to the visitor side, which also is a home for a new press box. And with all the changes, one coach is saying that old turf or new, things remain the same. There ain't no change. It's like I've told anybody, we're playing the parking lot, you know. But the thing is that it is a different turf, you know. If anything, has more sentimental value for for us coaches that we used to play on the grass and stuff. But, you know, I know I have about two pots in my backyard, so Bogus Stadium is, is still running rapid in the Gomez family. With all the improvements and all the excitement here in Harlingen, the only thing left is to play a little football. First scrimmage, August 17th, and we'll be here for that. Reporting from Harlingen at Bogus Stadium for Action Force Sports, I'm Joe Bowling.